please explore the menu. How often do you use a touch screen every day? Often. For the visually impaired, that little square ring could change the way they use technology. The system, we call it Watt Vision. It's a system that allows blind people to be able to use touchscreens. Little symbols in the corner represent the stickers that you'd place at the corners of the screen. Right now, it's instructing me to point the camera towards the screen. So I point it up at the screen. Hand off screen so new screen can be captured. Capturing in three, two, one. And if I bring my finger here, you can see there's a square and my finger's being tracked. It recognizes where my finger is. As I move my hand around the screen, it continuously reads out Choose your favorite candy. what my finger's over. Smarties, coffee crisp. Please move hand off screen. So, so and you can see it's recognizing that the screen has changed. The technology was developed by six students from the University of Waterloo Mechatronics Engineering Program. And it was recently named the national winner of the James Dyson Award, a product design competition that encourages students to solve a real-world problem. As grocery stores move towards more automation and have less um, cashiers and more self-checkout stations, we might get to a point where there's only self-checkout, and for a visually impaired or blind person to use that grocery store, they would need to somehow be able to use those self-checkout stations. The same thing could apply to a bank's ATM or any other transaction that could require the use of a touchscreen, even just using someone else's computer. Now we're in the next level of the competition, the international one, so we're hoping to do well in that as well. Well, in an effort to move this idea forward as fast as possible, the students have decided to make their code open sourced and are inviting collaboration. For information, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. In North York, Audra Brown, City News.